Hello and welcome back to another Tableau Tip Tuesday, the series where we shine a light on some of Tableau's more obscure capabilities. From beginner to expert, join us every week to learn those hidden gems to take your skills to the new level. Today we're going to be going over how to format our line and area charts to give them uh, that little extra shine or pizzazz uh, in ways that you might not have thought about on your own. So let's go ahead and get to work. So here we have a simple continuous day uh, profit chart right here. I filtered it down to just a manageable amount of days so that it doesn't look all crazy. And essentially we have this calculation right here. Sum of profit is greater than zero. We want the top half of our chart to have one color and the bottom half to have another. Well, if I change this over to an area chart here, you can see that using this calculation on color probably is not going to give you the expected results right there. Um, an area chart is only capable of having one color within it. If we go back to a line chart, you can see that we still don't have the perfect results. For example, it looks like this is a two color diverging color palette. So we're gonna see another means that we can do this. So let's go ahead and get rid of this calculation. We're going to duplicate profit up on our structure shelf here and then we're simply going to fix both of our axes we want the top half to show our positive values and the bottom half to show our negative values and to do that we will just right click edit our axis and we'll fix this one to be only positive values and now we can go down to the bottom and fix this to have only our negative values fixed and at zero now, since we have two different measures up on our structure shelf, we can change each of these marks cards independently. So we'll go ahead and we'll make the top half black, and we can go ahead and make the bottom half to be red. Change that into an area chart just to get the full effect here. And there you go. We have two colors on one area chart. Now, if we want to take this to the next level here, what we can do is we can color the line with a monochrome um, uh, area chart here. So in order to accomplish that, we're just going to take our profit here. We're going to duplicate this again, and this time we're going to go dual axis here. So now we can have one mark type be our area chart. And we can change our other mark type to be a line as we want it, but we could just place that calculation right onto color and now we have those uh, those high points referenced in orange and those low points referenced in blue if you wanted this to be a more continuous gradient you can simply use the measure profit on our colored line right there you can see we get a similar result um, but it is just a little bit different as we can see by our color legend in the top right all right that's all we have for you today come back next week for another tip